I have a clementine fawn here. She's almost finished. The only job left to do is to close the opening in the base. I close all my toys by hand using ladder stitch. I've threaded a needle with doubled over, regular sewing thread and knotted the end. I'm going to go in through the opening and bring the needle out on the front just before the opening begins where the stitching is still firm and it's not working loose at all. The knot is now held on the inside and I'm going to make two small stitches, one on top of the other, just to really secure the thread before I begin. I'm using orange thread for this demonstration purely so that it stands out. Normally I would use a coordinating thread. So I'm ready to begin and I'm going to make a small stitch parallel to the opening on one side. And then I'm going to move across to the other side and do the same. Make a small stitch parallel to the opening. The needle needs to move through the fabric parallel to the raw edge of the opening. And I'll carry on like this, working from side to side. It's called ladder stitch because as you can see, the stitches form what looks like the rungs of a ladder, that sort of pattern. It's good to keep the stitches at a right angle to the opening and as parallel with each other as possible, just to give a really nice neat finish. So I'll make another stitch on this side now and then I'm going to pull on the thread to draw the stitches closed. So if I pull on the thread now, not too hard because I don't want it to break, but as you can see it draws up the stitches and they become virtually invisible. It's a really nice neat stitch. So I'll carry on like this, working from side to side, keeping to the same seam allowance I've used throughout the rest of the toy. I sew about five or six stitches before drawing them closed. Any more than that, you have to, to close them, you have to pull more firmly on the thread and it risks snapping it. So I'll carry on and close the rest of the opening.